Hey guys, 828 Find Adventure here. I've got a jet boil and I want to cook some breakfast. So let's check it out. Okay, so what we have here is the jet boil Genesis. It is a two burner stove that folds up. It's very compact. Comes with a nice zippered case, which includes a windscreen, which I'll show you in the video in a second. And, and it has um, directions in there, the fuel regulator. Everything goes in this small bag and there's still room. You could put some other things in there if you wanted to. So when you take it out of the bag, you will notice it has a flat spot on one side. You can stand it up, which is kind of nice depending on where you're gonna store it. This is the plastic windscreen. I haven't used it, haven't needed to, but it looks like it would do the job. These are the directions that came with it. They're really decent directions, um, lots of pictures. So when you take the stove out of the bag, it has these rubber straps that hold it together. You unfold it and sit it on your table or picnic bench or the ground, and it sits really well. It has these little plastic or rubber feet. It has an input and output fuel valve on each end. I guess that's so if you wanted to connect maybe a little coffee burner next to it so you could have your coffee going the same time you're cooking. Um, make sure you hook up the fuel regulator to the input and not the output. I don't like to use those little one pound propane cans because they're hard to dispose of. So I have a little five pound propane and I got this braided hose to go to it. And it, it will connect right up to the jet boil stove. This valve is for something else, but here's the five pound propane bottle. And you can see the stainless steel braided hose. It hooks right up to the regulator, which makes it really easy. Just remember, like I said, make sure you connect it to the fuel input valve, not the output. Otherwise it won't work. So first you connect the fuel regulator, then the hose, and then connect the hose to the propane tank. If you're going to do it this way, if you're just using a one pound propane thing, you, you hook it right up to the fuel regulator and you're set. Okay, I just want to take a second and show you different ways to hook propane to the stove. Here I have a five pound propane tank and a one pound Coleman propane canister that you can buy at your grocery stores. As you can see, the one pound can is sitting next to the fuel regulator that comes with the stove and next to the five pound tank, I have a braided hose that I use for hooking up the propane tank to the stove or to my grill or whatever. I already have my fuel regulator attached to the stove. I screw in my braided line. It comes with an adapter already on it. And then you, then just like your grill at your house, you screw on this big black knob onto your propane tank. And that's all. pretty simple and then usually I'll set the propane off the table on the ground or somewhere. That's really why I got the longer hose. Now if you want to hook up a one pound propane tank to the stove, you can get this little adapter and you can use a longer line to get to the stove so you can like sit the propane tank on the ground or something. Um, to do that, you'll need to buy this adapter, and it just goes right on top of the tank. And then, of course, you hook the hose to the actual stove. Really simple, and 
it keeps the propane away from the, you know, the flame if you want to do that. The hose doesn't actually attach to the stove, it attaches to the fuel regulator that is attached to the stove. As you can see, the propane tank is on the floor. There's plenty of hose to attach to the fuel regulator attached to the stove at the fuel input side. All you have to do to turn it on is turn this little black knob to the left that's on either burner and then click this little red trigger. Bam, bam. So the order is turn your propane on, turn the knob to the left, click the little red trigger and boom, you have flame and it's very hot and it works very fast. After you get all that hooked up, you are ready to turn it on and start cooking. I've got my Michelangelo non-stick pan. It is amazing, nothing sticks to it. Can't get anything to stick to it. I love it and I love it so much I will put a link in the description. Excuse me, I will put a link under the description so you can go check it out too. And this thing, this jet boil stove just fires right up. You have to turn the knob way over and all of a sudden you'll hear it and you keep turning and then all of a sudden it starts up like a jet engine. At first when I was trying it I was like, well, I can't see the flame, but it's there and you can hear it. It's, it's really, really an interesting stove because it heats up so fast. Let's do the bacon first. Get some of this bacon out. We'll do the eggs in a minute. And I, again, I bought this stove because it was so compact. I can put it in my kitchen box with all my other stuff that I take camping. The Coleman, I couldn't do that. It was just too big. So this one is not a backpacking stove, even though I guess you could talk somebody into carrying it, but it's great for car camping or overlanding or any of that. And it heats up, again, it heats up so fast, you can cook breakfast so quick. And again, I'll put links to everything you see in this video under the description. Here's where the fuel regulator screws in to the fuel input. This is the little knob to turn the gas up. Here's the other burner I didn't use, but it's basically the same, except it has an output valve on it. it has this nice case, and that's, that's basically it. Let's cook some breakfast. Listen to that bacon sizzling. And if you could just smell it, it smells so good. I'm just gonna speed through cooking this bacon and eggs, or should I say cooking the eggs in the bacon grease. I think all of y'all have seen that before. And it, I just can't wait to, to eat this. If you could only smell it. Putting away the Genesis jet boil or the jet boil Genesis is really easy. First you let it cool. Make sure your gas is off. Undo the hose. Undo the fuel regulator. 
and just put everything back in the bag. It folds up really easy and has these little rubber straps that keep it shut. It's kind of like a clamshell and it keeps it shut like that and secure. And you put that inside the bag, which is surrounded by the windscreen and that kind of keeps the shape of the bag. And then you put the fuel regulator in a pocket that has Velcro in the lid of the bag. And that's basically it. And then you can just put it away. Definitely make sure it cools down first because if the stove was really hot, it might melt the bag. All right, guys, that cooked pretty fast. I'm just gonna sit here and uh, eat up my eggs and bacon. Mm -mm. This is good stuff. Mm. Man, it cooks so fast. The jet boil. Um, it is an amazing little stove and very compact. Folds up really small. I mean, I use this to replace a Coleman because the Coleman was just too big to lug around. Truthfully, too big to store in my garage, so I needed something a little smaller so I can put the rest of my junk around it. Anyways, mm, these eggs <laughs> cooked in the bacon grease. Golly, man. I should, I should do this every morning. I want to show you. Mm. I'll put a link under the description so you can go check out this stove if you want. I'll also put a link to the pan and all, uh, some of the other things like the little propane tank and different things like that. Um, so if you want to check them out, see what they're all about, uh, there'll be some links. So. Be sure to subscribe and hit the like button and I'd really appreciate it. I'm gonna go finish my breakfast. See you next time.